All right, I sent a drill and face this. Um, according to the drawing, that threaded portion up until that larger um, nine nine thousandths diameter is about just shy of three and a half inches. So I have this sticking four inches out of the chuck just to give me an extra half inch here to not run my tool into the chuck. Um, now the center drill, I had a drill smaller than I would like. I would have liked to use a regular um, number number three center drill, but this is a quarter inch and we're taking this diameter down to three eighths of an inch. So we really wouldn't, once we get down that far, you really wouldn't have a lot of meat around your um, around your center and I didn't want to risk tearing that out for any reason so I had to go one size smaller to a number two um, you could also use the number three until you get down smaller face that face the center point out and then read and then uh, redrill a smaller one um, or face the center point out till you get down to a smaller diameter but I just want to do one step try and make it as easy as possible so I'm going to change out my facing bit here. The roughly the angle I need. Some oil there, some oil there. Never forget to unlock the carriage. Make sure I can get into the very end of that, around that tailstock, which I can. Tighten it down, and as always, lock your quill. Um, now I'm going to hand feed the roughing cuts, because this is a Model B, I can't switch on the fly. I have this lathe set up at its lowest speed, um, which I want to keep it at. So I'm going to hand feed the roughing cuts. And then the final pass or final couple of passes, I'll power feed those. If I did have a Model A, some sort of quick change, then I would adjust and power feed the whole thing. But, um, you know, we work with what we got. Touch off there. Set my zero. did forget to do though is make myself a scribe mark for the length I need. I'm just going to whittle this down and uh, I'll show you the final pass. After those first couple of cuts I realized that the, uh, the tip on my tool was a little uh, dull plus I had added a little bit more rake. Um, basically uh, that's what you want to see coming out of there. Those chips curling up not just flying everywhere. Um, you can see we have a nice smooth cut with that. We we're more rubbing on the other cut, so we finish this up and I'll show you that final pass. I 
that's the chip coming off with a 50 thousandths cut. Now we're coming down to 50 thousandths because right here on the other side of this collar we still have to have a little um, spot that's half an inch wide before we get to the 3 8 So right now I'm at 600 thousandths. This is going to take it down to 650 and I'm going to double check and make sure that this little spot afterwards here um, or that well the whole thing will be uh, half an inch and then I'll mark off where we need to that um, half inch collar outside of this one inch collar and uh, I'll mark that off plunge cut one side and then cut the three eighths up to that plunge cut and then square this um, this collar off here we're a little round because of my tool angle on that but you can see we're getting a nice string of chips a nice smooth cut all right, this should be my last pass for my half inch diameter. I just put some cutting oil on there because this is my last pass for that little collar. Um, I have my dial set right through. I've been using this through the whole way. Um, it's actually my first time cutting any kind of precision part with this collar. And you can see we're lined up right with 100. What we're going to do, what I'm going to do right now is take a test. I'm going to cut enough on the end here to be able to get my mic around it and we'll see what we read and see how accurate that dial can be. Alright, that looks like enough for a test. Let me get this set up on the tripod so I can have two hands. Alright, let's see if we can get in there and get the mic. I'm gonna end up blocking the camera with my back or my head for a second just to clip this in here, probably. Yeah. And call is within pretty much a thousandth of an inch. Um, the lighting's kind of crappy here, hang on. 501 501 and a half so I'll just readjust it a thousandth of an inch and take that finishing cut and I'll show you how we're gonna cut we're gonna square up this collar okay we're actually within a half a thousandth on that collar um, which that half a thousandth really isn't gonna make that much of a difference because of the tolerance we're using plus we're gonna fit it into this little uh, pocket right here anyway so it's going to be sized to fit um, now I want to stuff around here. now I need to cut that collar right here I need that to be 291 thousand so I'll mark that out on thing but first I want to square this corner off it's rounded from our tool because of the round radius and also the lead angle on the tool. So, to round that off, I don't want to use a parting tool and shove it in there because this is already radius and this has to stick out too far. What it's going to do when I put it in is it's actually going to bend itself around that radius anyway. So I need something stiffer than that. So what I have is I use this to cut into my corners and get it. I mean, you can use a facing tool to get in here and draw out, it's kind of a, I don't like doing that, but all this is is a quarter inch blank with a 10 degree angle on the front here. On the side, I have a little bit of clearance at a 10 degree angle, but if you notice, the clearance doesn't go all the way up. In other words, it doesn't touch that tip. Now the reason why is because I want that tip to not break off, number one, and number two, I want that edge to actually be able to rub up against the pot. Any it, this clearance is to be able to make this edge cut, but I want that very very tip rubbing up against the edge to make a nice sharp corner. And also, if you were to grind this on the wheel right up to that edge, you're going to have more of a chance of cocking this off that 90 degree angle. So, I'm going to put this in my holder and show you how we how I'm going to square it up to the stock and uh, 
how well it works. Alright, as you can see, I have only enough tool bits sticking out of my block to be able to make that cut. Um, plus, you can also see that I'm cocked off center, so we have to have a way of centering that perfectly to get a 90 degree angle. Now, the way these blocks are set up, it's very easy to do. I'm able to turn my chuck so I get this flat face here. I'm able to put my tool post right up against it. Right like that. And just feed it into where I want. And now I know we're perfectly parallel with that workpiece. Give me roughly in the area where I need. And just like facing, lock your carriage down so that the force doesn't move it out. Let's see if we can zoom in here a little bit. Now I know that piece is perfectly square. Let me see if I can uh, oops. This is just a piece of tool steel here just to show you that we're perfectly parallel now right up to that shoulder and no gaps all the way around so we successfully squared all that off now all I'm gonna do is take the rest of this down here I'm gonna mark off the 291 I'm gonna plunge cut with my parting tool to mark my stop point for my 3 8 diameter and then I'm gonna bring this down the, the rest of it down to 3 8 Alright, here's our finished roughing out of our um, threaded section. So this is down to my uh, 3 8 diameter all the way around. I have my half inch collar right here. I happened to screw up a little bit and I nicked this so it's a few thousandths off but that's not really a critical diameter because that's just a register to keep this in line with everything else not a big deal not really concerned about it because all I have to do is match this length to the bushing that's going to go over this so I just have to adjust for that um, as long as my entire length is good I'm happy with that so now my Acme thread is going to be out here to a point and then it's going to stop. So I have to figure out where that acne thread is going to stop. And I will plunge cut and relief cut with my um, parting tool slightly lower than the minor diameter of that acne thread, which is what we're going to figure out. Or we're going to have to do some.